everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that I'd share with you guys my top five MAC lipstick picks, obviously from MAC. I feel like MAC has almost every single color under the sun. When you walk into a store, you're just overwhelmed with like lipstick choices, finishes, colors, just everything. I feel like I feel so overwhelmed when I walk in that I actually don't even buy anything. I like to just buy my MAC lipsticks online because at least then I can Google swatches and I can watch people's recommendations and I feel a lot more comfortable. Um, I know that when I'm looking to buy a MAC lipstick, these are the types of videos that I love to watch. So I did go through my collection. I have maybe about 25 to 30 MAC lipsticks. So I do have quite a few, not the whole collection, but I do have a nice chunk of it. Um, but I did narrow it down to top five lipsticks that I adore from the collection. I won't swatch them on my lips purely for the fact that I do already have a MAC swatch video or MAC, what's it called? MAC lipstick collection and swatch video already on my channel so you can see what the swatches look like there. Um, but I will swatch them on my hand for you. So I did pick out a few different colors, not just like pinks or nudes or like reds. I did try and make it quite different. Um, but yeah, these are definitely the top five that I have been reaching for recently. So I'll start with the first one. This one is MAC Russian Red. This is a matte red color and I feel like it's a lot more smooth than MAC Ruby Woo. I'll swatch it on my hand just so you can see what it looks like. I feel like this is the most perfect classic red shade. It isn't coming up as true to color in the viewfinder as I would like, but it is just one of the most beautiful reds that I own. It lasts a long time. It complements my skin tone very, very well and I really, really enjoy it. So the next one is also a matte lipstick. This is probably one of my favorite everyday nude shades. This one is called Honey Love, also by MAC, duh. Um, yeah, this is it swatched on my hand and it's just a really, really beautiful pink beige color, which I think is really, really complimentary on almost every skin tone. I feel like if you were of light, to medium skin tones, this would look the best on you, but I feel like anybody could wear it, um, as long as you maybe pet it with a gloss or a lip liner or something like that. The next one is very, very different from the last. This is called Sin, and I must say that this is probably my most favorite MAC lipstick ever. And that is a very, very big claim to make, but it is my absolute favorite. I do have a Get Ready With Me video. It's quite old now. I think it's like almost a year old. Like seriously, it feels like yesterday, but it's almost a year old um, of me using this on my channel. So I'll link that down below as well if you'd like to see how I use Maxin. Um, I'll swatch it for you. It is seriously so beautiful. It's that color down the bottom. And this is also a matte. You can tell I love MAC matte finishes. This isn't what I have on my lips today. This is not a MAC lipstick. Um, but yeah, that's sin down the bottom. And it's just a really, really, really lovely berry wine color. I think this is amazing, amazing for the winter time. For the autumn time, it's just on point with what's on trend at the moment. So some days I don't feel like wearing just like a neutral color. I wanna like vamp up my look and be like, bam, I'm alive, I'm out there, I'm outgoing, I'm rebellious, you know? when not really, I just change up my lipstick. So I love purple lips. Like it's one of those controversial things, but I love purple lips. Um, this one is called Mac Up The Amp. It looks like this. My mum always compliments me on it where I wear it. Um, she never compliments my makeup, but when I wear Mac Up The Amp, she loves it. So yeah, that one is a amplified finish. Amplified finishes are a little bit more glossy than the matte finishes, duh, cause they're not matte. Um, but they are still very, very creamy and they do last a long time. It's down the bottom and it's not so much of a purple that you'll look sick. It's more of a pinky, lilac-y purple, if that makes any sense at all. It's really, really pretty and I love just pairing it with a little bit of liner on the lash line, like the upper lash line and a bit of mascara and then just this lipstick and it just looks beautiful. I love it so, so much. Okay, so Lucky Last Lipstick, I decided to pick my favorite pink. Um, this one I have only recently discovered my love for it, but I really, really do enjoy it. It's really, really beautiful. It is MAC Angel, and there's something in my eye. This is MAC Angel, and it is a frost finish. I personally would not count this as a frost. To me, a frost is a very, very metallic finish, like very 90s, very 80s looking finish. 
This is not that at all. It's very, very creamy. I would say it's more of a satin finish, if anything. It is that one down the bottom there. You can tell that it's definitely a lot more pink than Honey Love, which you can see comparing the two. It is a lot more brown, um, Honey Love that is, while Angel is a lot more pink. I love wearing this for days that I just want to look healthy. <laughs> like, I know it sounds really, really, st like, silly, but, like, like, recently through the transitioning of the months and it's getting colder and, like, I feel like I'm less lively, I love just putting on that lipstick and it just brings my face back to health. Like, I know it sounds really, really weird that how can a lipstick do that, but for me, I seriously feel like that's what it does. Um, but then again, I feel like any pink lipstick would do that. But this one has just been my favorite one from MAC that I've been reaching for recently. It's even started to get a little dent in it, so that's how much I love it. But yeah, so that's my favorite top five MAC lipsticks that you can purchase at MAC. Duh. Um, so yeah, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.